And the trees are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain time Grows among the purple heather We'll be born a seagull And we'll all go together To black wild mountain time All around the blooming heather From our damp and slightly foggy um, Heart Oak Valley and today I am going on the worst route up Headship and Cheviot that there is diabolical but I'm gonna do it because it's been very wet and very snowy there's no snow now however it will be boggy as F There's nothing quite like heading off to the hills on a quiet Saturday morning, listening to the stream and the birds singing. Following the track from Langley Ford Farm to start my ascent up hedge up. The clouds sitting snugly on Cheviot. So I'm halfway up. As you can see, I'm literally sweating. It's boiling. It must be 15 degrees and there's not a breath of wind. Lush. And now hedge up is covered in clag. Nearly at the top. Oh, so beautiful. There is a slight breeze now, which is lovely. And the cloud keeps coming in and out. Hopefully it's clear. I think I've got another 100 metres to go. It's a tough climb, headship, whichever way you come at it. Um, from Lynnup, from Hardside, it's um, a longer climb, but less steep. So if you want to like have a little mosey, slow mosey up, hedge up, go from Linup and Hartside Farm. But if you want to beast your legs like I am today, um, yeah, go up from Langley Ford. Just lush. There is a bit of sunshine trying to get through. We shall see. I just can't wait to, to get to the top because I've got a packet of minstrels. Hedgehop stands at 714 metres and towers over Hartope Valley.
now we are going down into the abyss that is Coombe Fell and Coombe Hill. This is notoriously the worst part of the Cheviot Hills for just downright rudeness in the boggy area. Right, I shall fetch you down this hill and when we get to a bog I'll show you what they're like. But the mist keeps coming in and out. A bit disappointed there's no snow but within a day of it snowing on Hedge Up and Cheviot the other day it was gone the next day. Right, let's get down here. There now, I've come down about 50 metres and we're starting to see the views. There's Cheviot in the Clag and down there's Scald Hill. This is the worst route around Cheviot, but look, listen. Wish us luck. So I've navigated my way through this. The path goes near the fence line, but that's a waste of time. Um, unless you could traverse along the fence line, like, but then it risks pulling the fence down and then the livestock will get up here. So no, don't do that. There's a very faint fell running path here. Oh, it's just lush. It's a challenge. And this is only the first little bit, it gets worse. Where you've got to climb down into the peat darkness. So I'm we'll gonna have to be very careful. Hopefully you'll get this video and I made it out. I have done this before, but it was in the summer. It wasn't perfectly dry, but it was better than a winter full of rain and snow. Right, let's bash on. There's Little and Great Stain Drop and there's Shilmore. Ooh, I wonder what that bird is.
this is what I am navigating through at the moment. It's not that bad actually, they're just, it's just awkward climbing in and out. But no, it's good fun actually. I forgot how good fun it was. I mean, it's a different story when the weather's crap and you can't see anything, but it's peaceful, not seeing a soul. I've got the whole lo load of the uh, cheviots to myself and it's just lush, beautiful. Having a lush day as per usual. When I'm climbing the hills, I'm like, why am I doing this? And then when I get to the top, you, you know why you're doing it, don't you? And then just being out, look at all this on your own. It's just the best thing in the world. Rolo's loving it. I have to keep shouting at him though because he keeps going into the bogs. And you've got to be careful because there, there's a lot of holes. So if you do come up and do this whole shoe, achieve your whole shoe from headship to achieve your, or you could do it vice versa, like the other way around. Just be careful, sturdy boots. Be careful, watch your foot and don't rush it. Make sure you've got plenty of time to do it. Yeah, but it's it's a really good walk, but it's just awful. It's the worst one in these hills. It's the worst crossing. Yeah, right, onwards. Just while I was thinking, another thing you want, apart from sturdy boots, is gaiters. Definitely want gaiters coming along here. Absolutely necessary. And my gaiters, sorry, I'm heavy breathing, are all buggered, worn away, you can't say. Yeah, my gaiters are all worn away now. I need a new pair. So I might go, if I can be bothered, I go outdoors tonight. We'll see, because I desperately need some new gaiters because these ones are leaking. I mean, my scarf, but boots are fine. And I'll tell you what I've got, anti-slip socks with little, little rubber bottoms. Um, I thought I'd try those with my boots to stop my, because my problem with my walking boots, my, why my toes get sore is my feet slide forward when I'm going downhill. But I've got some anti-slip socks. Well, I've borrowed a pair of Riley's actually. His dad bought him some for rugby. And um, if I can get away with them, I'm going to buy some. But they're really good. We'll see how we get on going down Scald Hill later. If I've got time, I'm going to go and have a look at Orcup Cairn. Um, looks like the weather's coming in, but hey, ho, what prepared. Right, catching a bit. That's where we've come from, Hedge Up. And down there's Langley Ford. You can go down the side of Hedge Up. If the weather gets bad and you don't want to do Coombe Fell, you can go down the side. There's a quad track. You can follow. The clouds actually lifted off Cheviot, but it looks like it's coming back over from, where is it? The west is that, do you know? How I don't get, well, I do get lost, but how I don't get myself into a pickle when I'm in these hills is beyond me if I don't even know where west is. I wouldn't care, it's on my walking poles. Right, on my walking pole, compass is bust. You this and then we'll get on. It's exhausting this walk, it definitely zaps your energy. And this is the better path. Oh, shouldn't it? Okay, we are nearly down off Coombe Fell and heading over to Cheviot. However, I've just spotted this little nipple in the distance. So I'm going to hop that fence and we're going to go and have a look 
I think that's called Cold Law Cairn, but I shall double check when I get there. So I've come over the gate here before I head down to Scotsman's now. And I'm heading to Cold Law Cairn. And it's got incredible views of Ingram Valley. So I am going to go and see that and then head back. Just come along there. up in the distance. Coom fell. There's Dunmore Hill. And that's all down Linup, Ingram Valley. This is Ingram Valley here. And then that's Shilmore. bush edge at the back there and this is Kidlin Forest down here oh the weather's coming in and all the way that's Windy Gyle little visit to Cold Law Cairn. I bet money it's an old burial cairn. And now I am heading into the Clag of Cheviot. Not a bad little hike this morning. You can't see Hedge up now. It's behind there. Up there. in the bog. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
No. Sorry, the dog's eating the bread. This is the second last, I think, or the third last loose one. Are you coming down? Are you coming down? So I've come all the way over there, all the way over there, along, 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 over to there, and then back down here, up this fence line. And now, I'm nearly at the Scotsman's now, and heading up onto Cheviot, up there. go that way that's the way I'm gonna go back but do you know what I'm up here I may as well go to Oak up Cairn Right, I did go to Oak Up Cairn. I'm just gonna have a little sandwich. I think it's half two, quarter to three. Had to put, deploy the hat and the down jacket. Had my waterproof on because it started to rain. But I'm gonna have a little quick bite to eat and then I'm gonna head back over at Cheviot Summit and then down Scott Hill and back to the car. I'm a bit achy. I think Coombe Fell has. Uh, ruined us, gives a right beast I know I've already done a video on uh, Oak Up Cairn, but uh, do you know what, it's worth another visit for you isn't it? Yeah. 
Australia and that's it, not a single soul um, apart from the people this morning going up people just made it alright, bless them first time up Judy, I hope they enjoyed it <sighs> they should have gone up college for me to be fair right, I'm going to go because the clag's coming in and I want to get on ta-ta for now This is the last summit of the day, Chiviet, 815, mm. the uh was because <laughs> I was thinking, is it 815 metres? I should know, I've been up here a gazillion times, yeah, 815 metres, I literally just looked at the map to double check because I thought, oh, do you know what, someone will correct us, 815 metres. 714 headship and 600 and something, I forget what I said Coomfell was. Oak Oak Cairn, didn't look, not bothered. My legs are sore, I need a bath, it's getting cold, my battery's gonna run out. If this video doesn't make YouTube then, well, I'm still up here. If it does, hey <laughs> I made it home, to be fair. I've got no excuse not to get down off this hill and oh shit I hate that one that I was going to show you my finger why is that doing that right look look I gave the dog a biscuit and he's blinking tooth caught my finger it's the only injury I've had my um eh, the clags in I love it when the clag comes in it's very uh it's a dark, dark, stormy night. I'm waffling now because I need some more chocolate. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, I can't remember. It was quite funny as well. Obviously not that funny if I can't remember. Right, I'll have a think and get back to you. No, can't remember what I was going to say. I've um, I keep on talking while I'm finishing off this video because I know I've done Chivia loads and I've done a couple of videos with Chivia in, but it's for those who wanted to do this hike hedge up the it's the chivia horseshoe or the hedge up horseshoe i call it the chivia horseshoe um yeah i'm tired now i need a hot bath right i will take some pictures and videos on the way down if i've got enough battery left but uh other than that uh thanks for watching if you watch to the end good on you um Sorry, that was my battery saying, dead, dying, dying, dying. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, as always. I'm on a sugar low. I'm going to have some sugar. I'm filthy. Oh, I, I was going to say I'm covered in peat from sliding up and down the box. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to go because I'm off length. Thanks for watching. ta -da. I love you all very much. Hope you're all all right. It's your ear. Ta-da.
slip socks definitely work. My feet are not sliding forward and more like a lot of styles. So definitely get a pair. A couple of pairs actually I can highly recommend. Non-slip socks with the rubber bits on the bottom. Brilliant. I mean people have probably heard of these things before me. But you know, we just got electricity not long ago and automobiles up here in the countryside. So yeah. Hello, I'm back at the car, safe and sound, battery's about to die, um, yeah, had a lush day, I've been out 10 hours, 10 hours, I've done 13 miles, 13 miles in 10 hours, mine I faffed about and I went off piste and yeah, that's about right for going over, Coon fell like, definitely, Reet! See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Ta-ta for now.